Hey everybody, and I'm back once again. Yes, I have been gone for a little while. There's been a lot of stuff going on that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of. And I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I've been gone for two weeks and boy, let me tell you what, the whole world just went to, you know? I mean, holy cow, what do we want to talk about first? I mean, we could just talk about anything. And I'm sure a lot of you have all heard a lot of this stuff in the news and stuff, but where do we go from here? I mean, what are we really supposed to really be believing? You know, I mean, there's just so much stuff going on right now. We have, we have stuff going on in China. We have stuff going on in North Korea. We have stuff going on in Taiwan and Russia, Ukraine. Um, a lot of all these different places are all doing all kinds of weird stuff right now. We're sending more troops uh, to Taiwan to, I quote, help train uh, their troops and everything else. Uh, we have Russia that is, you know, they're putting more of their men and they're forcing more people to join the service because they're running out of men and they're pushing towards the borders and they're trying to, uh, you know, overtake Ukraine. Ukraine's fighting back something fierce uh, with the help of all the NATO allies and, and uh, uh, mainly the United States and everything else. We had Biden that was just there the other day and uh, promising that we won't be leaving and they're probably going to get whatever they want. Um, they did say right now they're not going to be issuing them the F-16 fighter jets, which I'm sure he was pretty uh, upset about in a sense. But in this place in the war right now, it's really not an air war. You know, it's not like it's an air battle. It's uh, ground to ground. It's, it's a World War II trench style fighting is what they're doing. And uh, they need basically ammo and guns and stuff. You know, I mean, they are still sending the tanks and all that. Putin did pull out of the last nuclear treaty. That is huge. Um, I'm going to have a video coming out. Uh, we're going to talk about that more in depth because uh, that's very concerning on what the what does that mean for all of us? The, the whole mess that this world is in and what is taking place. You know, I mean, the stock market here has been tanking over the last couple of weeks because it's bad news after bad news after bad news. A lot of the big analysts and everything else, uh, Warren Buffett and all these guys are all warning that, hey, it's going to get really bad really soon. So, you know, I mean, I'm a firm believer. If you want to know what you should be doing and stuff, pay attention to what the billionaires are doing right now. I have talked about that several times on this uh, channel here. And a lot of these people, I'm telling you folks, they're preparing. They're looking for bunkers. They're looking for places out of the way, way out in the middle of nowhere where they can survive. They're spending their money. They have the money to spend. Unlike me and you, we can't just go out and drop, you know, five, 10 mil on a nuclear bunker, you know? So we have to come up with our own creative ways of trying to survive um, anything that hopefully never does conspire or even heads our way. This is just another basically big bump in the road that we're going to have to deal with here. Now, I'm not saying that we have to put our guard down. I'm not saying that at all. We need to be making sure that we are <laughs> staying ready as much as possible. Now, a lot of people don't have money to go out and buy all that type of nuclear gear and everything else. So you need to try to figure out ways. If you have to stay in your home, what, what do you do? You know, you can buy uh, real thick rolls of plastics and try to seal your home up um, as long as you're not in a blast zone. You know, because generally speaking, I mean, immense a lot of people's disbelief a lot of people do survive a nuclear blast. Now, if you are within the blast zone, obviously, like I have stated before, <laughs> you're not going to survive. But if you're outside that blast zone, yes, you are going to survive. You're going to have to get through the whole, quote, nuclear winter type thing uh, with all the ash and stuff that's going to be falling from the sky. It's all radioactive and you don't need to be breathing that stuff in. So, you know, there's things that you can do if you stay in your home, if you have the proper supplies and things of this nature here. You know, you got to seal your home up as tight as you can. You got to make sure you're turning off your AC, your furnace and all these type of things because you don't want anything circulating. Um, you got to keep your doors, windows obviously closed. You want to seal them off. 
um, the whole nine yards. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just a whole huge thing. And okay, but you know, there's a lot of stuff that's going on out there, and a lot of other company, you know, countries, and all these people are all preparing for. I don't want to say Armageddon. I don't want to say that they're preparing for the end of the world, but they are preparing. Unlike here, I, I don't understand, you know? I mean, if you look, well, I'm gonna do a video on that next time. Um, over in China, China has now said that, well, you know what, I think we're gonna help out uh, Russia here, maybe give them some arms and stuff. You know, they're running low on ammo and military supplies and this kind of stuff. So it looks like China's gonna be the good guy over there and help them out. And then we have the little dude over there in North Korea, you know, I mean, he's just, uh, he's just been showing off all his stuff and he's threatened to use, you know, some of his uh, nuclear missiles and stuff because he doesn't like the way that everything is going. And I tell you what, either do I, but you know what, doesn't mean you be pushing buttons. This is a problem when you give power to an idiot, okay? Um, in Taiwan, yes, we did send 200 troops, I believe it was, and they're going over there to help train um, a lot of their different uh, uh, higher ranking military officials. Um, this way here, they can pass the knowledge down on to all their general men and everything else. Um, they're also are still planning and still doing you know military exercises and everything out in the Pacific which is really taken off a lot of people but you know what we've been doing it for a long time and it just goes to show hey you know we have a military force out there and it's not too far away um, with the whole China thing you know China really wants Taiwan back so we have to pay close attention to that we have what is what I thought was really ironic was, you know, China is, um, you know, they just went to Russia. Their top the diplomat just went to Russia and he was over there meeting with Putin and everything else. You know, they're boozing it up and drinking, the, you know, Russian vodka and whatever else. And China is saying that, you know, at that point, you know, they want to help and maybe give the arms and everything else to Russia. And then in the next statement that you heard, when they were at the um, NATO meeting there, they were saying that they are trying, their main goal is to put an end to this war, and they believe that they can do it. Okay, well, which side do we want to believe? You know, you want to put an end to the war, but we're going to give Russia more ammo and uh, military supplies and stuff and to help fuel the war see where I'm going with this <laughs> it just doesn't make sense I mean we're we're running a losing battle here folks um, you know I mean you got the whole thing it's just one big huge mess right now and uh, things just aren't uh, are going very well for anybody in the world right now I mean we have world hunger that is starting to take place, and um, I think cyber attacks this year is really gonna be a big one. Did you guys hear about what happened to Dole just, uh, oh, what was it last week? Uh, they got hit with a huge cyber attack, had to shut down all these plants, and that's why when you go to the store right now, you haven't been able to find a lot of lettuce and bag lettuce and all this kind of stuff, because they had to shut down production. They got cyber hacked. And I think that's where this is really going. I mean, when Putin was doing his, uh, his, his address to the nation there, when Biden was over in Ukraine, and uh, somebody somewhere hacked their TV network over there and turned off his address. Nobody could get it. Now, they did get it right back on and everything else, but the point being is they did it. So, you know, we just don't know what we're gonna be dealing with. And that's why in these times, we have to make sure that whatever we are doing, you are staying prepped and ready. You gotta make sure that you are just making sure that you're going through everything that you have, regardless of whatever situation gets thrown at us, um, whether it's gonna be World War III, if it's nuclear, if it's uh, cyber attacks, that's what I think would be 
first off on the whole list here because that's where I believe we're headed. But it doesn't take a lot, folks. You see, they start shutting down grids and they start shutting down certain systems and um, that whole thing. And it's just going to create one big, huge mess. And it could take a while for things to come back. And we don't know. Uh, you know, they shut down the power grids and things of this nature. We've already had sabotage at different uh, power plants and, and everything else where, you know, people have been shooting them up. Yeah, they did catch that one group of people, but there are still all these other ones. and They have no idea who did it. So, you know, I mean, the name of the game here is to be prepared. I mean, you got to just make sure you're crossing your T's, dotting your I's, checking everything. Uh, you know, topping stuff off, whatever it may be, you have to make sure you are being prepared for you and your family because that is what it comes down to because there ain't going to be nobody else around to help you out in a time of need. You have to make sure that that is your number one goal is to take care of your family to the best of your ability. So until next time, folks, thank you for joining me on this video today. Thank you for tuning in. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until I see you again, I'm out.